Hi everybody. Welcome to Stitching with Paprika. Thank you for joining me on this fine day. Don't mind the mess that is my basement. We're trying to do stuff. Um, today is just going to be updates. I really haven't crocheted anything in a while because I lost my crojo when my depression came on. I, I couldn't, I couldn't do anything really. Um, so my depression is so much better. The doctor put me on, um, two medications. They weren't really working as well as they should have been. So he upped the milligrams on them both. And now I'm doing so much better. <clears throat> um, not a whole lot has been going on other than that. Um... The girls are doing excellent. They've been sick off and on all winter. Um, and then me, my husband, and my youngest, Adeline, we all just got over pink eye. So that was fun. <laughs> um, my eyes are still not the same since having it every day I wake up. And my eyes feel really irritated and they burn a little bit. So hopefully they stop feeling like that soon. Um, hold on. I have an alarm coming up. Okay. So, um, what else? What else? What else? And recently I've been sick a lot. Um, my appetite is almost non-existent. Um, I only eat really once a day. I feel sick to my stomach and have stomach pains the rest of the time. Um, even right after I eat, I have, I have pain around my stomach and I feel extremely sick. I went to the doctors to talk to him about it and he is running blood tests now um I possibly have diverticulitis um so yay for that the only good thing about that is I've also lost 40 pounds so you know I think yeah it's been a little over 40 pounds because I'm still losing and when I first it was funny when I first went into my doctor because the last time I went in, I weighed a lot more. And he told me that he would like for me to lose a little bit of weight and that he wanted me to exercise more and that exercising would help with the depression. I have tried to start exercising. It's not easy. Um, now that the weather is getting warmer, I'm going to start walking a lot more. Um, so that'll be good. But when he came in and he saw my weight, he said, you did really good. And I said, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I didn't do anything. And he's like, then how did you lose that much weight? And I told him what was going on with me. So he said he was going to run some blood tests first and see if anything showed up on that. And then if that doesn't show anything, he'll run more tests. So hopefully he figures it out soon. I'm sick of feeling sick. Just, I'm over it. Um, Adeline is going through the terrible twos like nothing else I've ever seen. My oldest went through the terrible twos, of course, but she wasn't nearly as bad as this. Um, it's crazy. I... I can't believe some of the stuff she does. Um, <clears throat> Adora just had a sixth birthday earlier this month. And for the most part, she's been pretty good. Um, today, they were both monsters. It's been a very long day. I'm ready for bed. <laughs> um... They have been fighting all day. 
Sims. Ugh. I'm over it. They're going to bed early tonight. Um, yeah, I, I, I can't do it anymore. What is that fucking tiny thing? Oh, the Swiffer and part of the furnace. Okay. Um, other than that, not a whole lot has been going on. Um, I'm trying, I'm, I'm going to get back into crocheting soon. I feel like my crojo is slowly coming back. I've been want, what? Where are you? Come here, baby. I've been wanting to crochet more lately. Um, and my friend at work wants me to crochet some things for her. So, and it's just, it's just small stuff. So I'm going to work on that first. Another friend of mine, she asked me for a hat in the winter time. And that's pretty much when I lost my crow gel. So I started it, but I didn't finish it. So I told her I'll I'll still make it for her. even though it's summertime I will still make her a hat for her to wear this coming winter. So I'm gonna try to do that, and of course she wants her hat to be black. And I told her black is the hardest yarn to work with. If you want, I can mix it with other colors. I can like hold black and gray together, and then I'd be able to see the stitches better. She insisted no, she wants all black. So. I'm going to have to make sure I have light on my yarn so I can see the stitches. I apologize if there's a huge glare in my glasses, but we moved my desk, so now there's a light like right there. And it's going to it's going to give me glares. Um What else? I'm probably as soon as I can figure out how to thread my sewing machine. Cause I'm new to all of this. I gotta, I gotta look it up on YouTube and figure out how to thread it. I'm going to start sewing soon. So I will also be showing projects on my sewing machine. Um, oh, I got a tattoo for my birthday. Um, I, let me see if I can do this. I'm gonna move the camera so I can show you. Cause if I hold my arm up like this, it's going to be upside down. Wow. Sorry, guys. Okay. I'll try this again. It's just a bouquet of flowers. It's my daughter's birth flowers. So the carnations up there on top are Adeline's birth flowers along with the snowdrops, which are... Hold on. Let me tighten this so my phone doesn't fall. Okay. The snowdrops right here. Right here, 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 and up here are also January flowers because you have an option of two flowers for every month. So the carnations and the snowdrops are Adeline's flowers, and the daisies and the sweet peas are Adora's flowers. Those are for April, and these ones are for January. Um, let me move the phone back up. I'm planning on getting another one. <clears throat> it is also going to be for my girls. It's, if any of you have seen the TV show Bluey, it's going to be Chili, the mom, Bluey, the daughter, and Bingo, the other daughter. And it's going to be her hugging them. I can show you a picture at the end of this. It's going to be a picture of them hugging, her hugging them. It's going to have a rainbow on top and it's going to say on the bottom, you are doing great because in one of the episodes it was talking about Chili when she first had Bluey and she was trying everything she could to get Bluey to crawl and walk and all of that and nothing was working and she thought she was a horrible mom because all these other moms were, their kids were crawling and walking and doing what they were supposed to be doing and Louie pretty much refused. So she thought she was a horrible mom. And so one of the other dog moms came to visit her. And she was like, look, I have nine kids. And I have to tell you something. 
And Chili was like, what? What are you going to tell me that I'm doing wrong? Right? And Coco said, you're doing great. And I cry at that episode every dang on time. And so that's, that's the tattoo I'm getting for my girls. And it's kind of for Mother's Day, but I'm not getting it until June. Because the lady I go to for tattoos, she did, she did this one. Um, she is pretty much all booked, uh, because Mondays are the best day because it's the only day that me and my husband have the entire day off. And this one might take a couple of hours. Uh, so I need, I need extra time. So all of the Mondays in May are booked for her. And, um, so it's going to be in early June. I'm going to show a picture of the tattoo that I'm getting. And, um, then of course I'll show you guys what it looks like when I get it. Um, I have, I have a lot of plans for tattoos. Um, one lady at work, she's got a lot of tattoos. She told me, once you get your first tattoo, you're going to get addicted to getting tattoos. And I'm like, no, I won't. It'll be fine. I just want one or two. But now I have six more tattoos that I want to get. I haven't come up with any other ideas. But I, I want to have a whole sleeve down here. And it's going to be like me and my husband up on the upper part of the arm. And then it's going to like fade into things for us as a family. And then it's going to go into things for my girls. So all of my tattoos for my girls are going to be here family stuff is going to be like around my elbow and lower part of my upper arm and then my husband's going to be like all on my shoulder so that's what I want to do there and then I want to get a tattoo for my dad I have two choices that I want to do I'm still trying to figure out which which way I want to go and then I want to get a tattoo for my mom I'm not sure what I'm going to get for her there are so many options. Um, I could get butterflies. I could get angels. Um, I could get like, I was thinking I could get like a cup of cappuccino and then have like hearts overflowing from the top of it because she loved cappuccino. And I could get like hearts overflowing from the top of it and underneath it have the saying my cup runneth over because that was her favorite phrase she always said it to everyone she said it to me and my sisters all the time she said it to her granddaughters she said it to everybody everybody she was super close to anyway um and then there was a song she liked by elton john i think it was i think the name of it is someone saved my life tonight and the verse that says, butterflies are free to fly, fly away, hi away, bye-bye. I want to get that. Um, I was thinking about getting that with butterflies flying around the verse. I have lots of ideas. I just got to figure out which ones I want. Because I have plenty of options for my parents. Um, but I'm not going to get a ton of tattoos for them. I just want one for each of them. Um, and then I don't have any other plans besides that. I, I really don't even have any plans for my arm yet. I know I have three tattoos, four, maybe three or four tattoos planned out for me and my husband. I don't have any tattoos yet for us as a family. <clears throat> But I know I'll find some if I look it up. I know I'll find enough to cover this whole arm. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to do on this arm, but I know I'm going to have my tattoo for my mom and a tattoo for my dad on this arm. It's probably going to be on the upper part of my arm. Um, and I've thought about doing a tattoo for them together in one because they're finally together um, after being divorced they're finally together like they should be 
So, yeah. Um, I don't think I have any more to talk about. If you guys have any questions about what's been going on, let me know. You can post in the comments below. Um, anything really. Um, I'm really, really hoping the doctor can figure out what's wrong with me. So, and I have to take a door to the doctor's. And she had a bloody nose today. For the first time ever and she started freaking out because it's like dripping and then it's like dripping on her leg and it's like dripping on the floor and i'm like a tour run to the bathroom run to the bathroom run to the bathroom and she's still like freaking out so i had to get up and literally push her to the bathroom i grab toilet paper and hold her nose thankfully it stopped fast it was dripping a lot i didn't think it was going to stop for a while but it did um So, oh, I think that's all I have to talk about. Um, I'm trying to... I didn't make a plan for this video at all. I just decided it was going to be updates. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I know. I don't... I don't think there is. Oh, my hair's red again. Of course, I have to touch it up because my natural hair color and my gray is shining through. Now I'm just blabbing. So I will post um, the tattoo I want to get at the end of the video. And I will post updated pictures of the girls at the end of the video. So stay tuned afterwards. And you can see all the stuff we've been having going on. Um, yeah, I'll even post a picture of Adora on her birthday. Because <laughs> she was really, really cute. Um, yeah, but I think that's going to be it for now. Thank you. Thank you for keeping me in your thoughts and prayers. Um, thank you for commenting on stuff and asking me how I'm doing. I'm sorry. I didn't really respond a whole lot. I just, I've been really busy. We've been, we've been going through a lot. I've been going through a lot. Um, but now let me, and, and I'm only going to do one or two videos a week. I'm not sure yet. Um, there's only going to be one this week and it's going to come out tomorrow, which is Tuesday, which is today for you guys. Um, cause it's Monday right now for me. So it's going to come out tomorrow. In the future, I'm going to try to do two videos a week, one on Tuesday and one on Thursday. I'll just record them both on Monday. Today we were really busy though, so I don't have time. I got to get upstairs and get the girls to bed. Um, but I'm going to try to do two videos a week in the future. If not, it's just going to be one video every Tuesday. So, um, I'm pretty sure that's about it. If you have, if you have any questions, like, like, like I said, Thank you all for sending me positive thoughts, prayers, good vibes, whatever you believe in. Thank you for commenting and checking up on me. Like, thank you for staying with me through no videos at all. I know I lost a couple subscribers, but the ones that stuck with me, I thank you. From the bottom of my heart, that means the world to me. Seriously does. I, there are no words to that I can use that will let you know how grateful I am for you guys I love you guys um yeah so thank you so much thank you thank you thank you I love you guys and I will see you next time hopefully it'll be Thursday if not it'll be next week Tuesday okay thanks guys bye